This little five by five piece will take me halfway through my marathon pouring session and I'm exhausted. I need to get ready to go see Wonder Woman with my son so I'm just going to add a smidge to this. Whoops, I've taken off my apron. I better put that back on. It's been that kind of morning. I'm going to put in this color I have left. Well, actually, I've never used it. I mixed it up um, out of leftovers. It's really pretty. And I don't know whether it's got silicone or not. It's like just a lighter shade of the other plum I have. But it's got some iridescence in it from... Um, gosh, you can't see it. From some primary elements that I had been using that day. Yes, my last name is Ball. Yes, I only use ball jars. No, we're not related and I don't get money. Dang it. <laughs> I think that's more than enough for a dirty pour, don't you? I'll do a flip cup. Maybe I'll do a bigger piece. Alright, I'm going to do an 8x8. Eight eight. Alright, dirty cup flip four. Here we go. I'm going to do the Rick Cheadle move around thing. At least that's where I first saw it. Help spread the paint. Whoo, pretty, pretty, pretty. I say that a lot. I also say, alrighty then. Now this was left over. It had a little hot pink, had a little red, had a little yellow, had a little neon orange, had a little plum, had a little white. And now I've added that uh, rosy iridescent paint. Let's let it scooch on down for a while. Since I'm exhausted, I'm going to start packing up. And now I know my marathon 16 pieces was asking a lot. <laughs> but who knows, after the movie and plenty of greasy buttered popcorn, I might come back and pour again. And there goes the orange. It's everywhere. Surprise not. Why does it do that? It is pretty though, isn't it? What's torch? Good thing I got out the biggest, bigger canvas board, huh? This is why I like spoons. That is pretty, but man, that orange takes over. Come on, other colors, you can show up. I know you're in there. Whoa, 
don't drip, Sherry. And I'll torch again to help it blend in. So I guess I would encourage people to work on the composition a bit. Or if you don't like the way something looks and you know how the paints are going to act, add more paint and select areas. I did it again. <laughs> I have this real bad tendency of Torching too close when I'm talking. As you can see, the torch brought out the silicone in the paints that were underneath, and you're getting I'm getting some beautiful cells here in the purple, in the plum, excuse me, not purple. All in all, I think this is just beautiful. Even though the orange tried to take over again, I conquered it. <laughs> we'll see though, right? I mean, it could always go. Thank you for watching. Please leave any questions or comments you have about any of my videos or techniques, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And if you wouldn't mind, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks again. Bye.